Hey. Hello and welcome to my short tutorial on how to fix the missing MSI file for your Visual C++ uh, redistributable. So first of all, I just I have all the files on my blog, so we're going to go there first. Okay, so the reason why this file gets corrupted is maybe you installed something new. A lot of the time, uh, Windows Update could cause problems as well. And from what I noticed, the redistributable version of the Visual C++, there's like several different versions that different programs like to use. Usually when you're installing a game or a program that, you, that you're using for just any reason that it would use C++, it'll install its own version of, or its own library that it's using. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and uninstall the redistributable versions that you have right now. So what I would suggest is right clicking on your start button, go to settings, Go to apps or sometimes program files depends on the version of windows you have and you're going to want to scroll down and look for microsoft c plus plus and just uninstall all of them all the all of the ones that you can sometimes it won't allow you to uninstall it it's not a problem and uh, again the reason why it's doing this is it's causing an error when you're trying to load like a game or an application that uses C++. It doesn't happen to all of them, but it can be pretty annoying. And you're not gonna wanna repair any of these. See how there's a repair option? It won't do anything for you. I've already tried it. Now uninstalling these won't affect any kind of performance or anything. While you're using the computer, you won't have to restart quite yet. Uh, you want to make sure that everything's out of there and it's pretty much all gone now so we're all set so the next step you want to download the troubleshooter now this comes from uh, the Windows support website itself and it's just right here to first click you could read all this information it's just mostly formality and tells you what the program is about it's actually a pretty pretty easy to use program there's nothing special you really need to do so we're gonna go ahead and minimize that I think this went to my download there you go you could go to your downloads folder whatever your default folder folder is double click it advanced I mean you don't really need to use advanced because we're removing the redistributable version altogether we're not actually repairing it Go to uninstall. Now this load time could take quite a while. Run a pretty fast system, so it doesn't take very long for me. Now see, you just uninstalled all these and they're still showing up. And that's because they're still in your registry. Uh, registry on, is like a backend library of everything that was ever installed on your computer. So you want to remove these individually. You're going to have to run it again. So you'll have to run it over and over again until all of them are completely out of your system. The program is completely safe. It, it come, Again, it comes from Microsoft themselves. If you're downloading it from another site, I'd be a little bit more wary because it, it could kind of conceal itself as being an, a, a virus or some malware or tracker or even like a maybe even a keylogger I don't I don't know but I wouldn't trust it from any other site other than Microsoft there we go so all of my C++ redistributables should be removed the next step I would do is go back to my site and you could go ahead and click on the latest version of the C++ redistributable. Now the biggest one that's been giving problems recently is the the times 86. 
I would just go ahead and just do that one. You don't have to drag it to your desktop, I just do it for convenience. Go to agree and install. And you're all set. So now from this point, you could run the application that was causing you problems or any other. And that's pretty much everything there is to it. I'll leave the uh, links in the comments and um, that way you could download it straight from the YouTube video.